It's a class takeover day, boys. Let's go. Hey, what's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today, I've got 24 mods for you. For all platforms, we have nine new and 11 updates. At PC and Mac, we have three new and one update. Let's check them out. Starting off with new mods for all platforms, we have the Klaus Torian 1177-1577. This is going to be a new wheel loader for you guys. 135 or 136 horsepower, 205 liters of fuel, 24 miles per hour. Says so a quick boy. Wheel brands, we have Trelleborg and Michelin. Michelin, you can't change anything up. However, at Trelleborg, we have a standard tire. We have a front twin wheel. And we have my favorite, the wide tires. I love these tires so much. They look so good. Yes. So we're going to leave those on there. And then engine setup, we have the 1177. This is going to give you 136 horsepower. And then we have the 1410, which gives you 163. And the 1511. This is going to give you 188 horsepower, making this a smaller, less powerful wheel loader than we're used to seeing. However, it is very capable. Next up, we have the Class Dominator VX98, a new combine for all platforms. This is going to have 197 horsepower, 300 liters of fuel, 15 miles per hour, so a little bit slower, but we're used to that with these older Class Combines, and 7,800 liters in here. Normal combine stuff. Main color, you have green, and we have old green and then design color it's actually going to be the bottom like the chassis so you have green new green old you also have dark new and dark old great to see those this is actually both of the old colors i think this looks fantastic wheel brands we have trailboard and michelin as well as minus tires and trailboard we have standard tire we have a wide tire we also have a wide tire that gives you a wide tire in the back as well and then in michelin we have standard tire wide tires so back and forth between those and then midas tires we have standard and wide tires beacons no or only front only on the back or all of the beacons in addition to the combine we also have a couple headers as well so we have the Klaus c420 header is going to be a 4.2 meter working width and main color you've got green old and green new as well six miles per hour on that and then you have the header trailer specifically for that header again in green old and green new and we even get another header for it this is the c510 to 5.1 meter working width six miles per hour we have green old and green new and we have the header trailer for that version as well next up we have the machio akia rapido 7000 scm also known as the lizard Akio Rapido probably mispronounced all that, but it's fun to say this is a new power harrow seven meters. This thing is insane. 250 horsepower required, which is respectable. Five meter working width, and I say five meter, five mile per hour working width. So it's a lot slower than you're used to going. And then design, we have the pack roller. We also have a cage roller and a flange roller. And you even get that rubberized roller as well. Hey, what is that? A Spiro Packer? and a packer roller so back and forth between those we've got a bunch of different ones here that you could choose from uh these don't do anything it's just a cultivator at the end of the day power harrow that type of thing so you could just choose whatever fits your style the best got a new semi trailer tipper for you guys this is the dimler ssm2 we do have a couple other dimler mods in game so if you want those to match well You've got one for your semi truck here. This is going to cost you $54,000, holds 41,000 liters of your normal bulk crop. So, kind of whatever's laying around, you can fit in here. Main color, well, you've got basically everything. You also have some custom colors. You have the Dimmler Dark Green, Dimmler Green, as well as the Dimmler Red. Plus, you get your whites and all the base game colors. I like standard colors. Let's go with that. Configuration, we have standard. We have extension, which is going to bump you up to 46,000 liters. Wheel brands, we have Michelin and Trailborg, as well as a Lizard tire, which is great to see. In Michelin, we have basically uh, standard and chunky boys. In Trailborg, we have standards and 404s. In Lizard, we have, uh, I think these look like BKTs, don't they? A little bit. Regardless, I love seeing these new style trailer wheels, whatever you want to call them. I love these. They look so cool. From Vertex Design, we have the Lizard BPV24 Massive Harrow. This is a Ukrainian Harrow. 250 horsepower required, 24 meter wide, 11 miles per hour. Main color. This is where it gets cool because you can change this whatever color you want. So we got some Kloss Monse. So if we change this up to Kloss, and we go over here and change that up there as well. Now it looks like a Kloss mod and you can use this like such or hey, maybe you're wanting more of a John Deere look. Well, you can change that up too. 
It's, it's so neat. I love the fact that you've got multiple different color configurations with this, and I think that was a phenomenal touch. We got a cultivator for you. This is the Great Plains Mono 200. This is going to be a 3.8 meter cultivator, seven miles per hour, and requires 260 horsepower. Uh, it's a little bit hefty for what it is, but we'll tell you it's pretty cheap at $12,000, so that's nice. Next up is the Crane Traverse. This is from FS Miner, and this is for cranes or the NMC lift arm. With this tools, you can lift anything that to have a tension belt support so you can not only strap it down but you can use this whenever you want to pick up either some heavy equipment that's used a train you could pick up a tlx with this if you want to it do have multiple body colors plus you have some custom colors up here as well so you have the fs minor color which i think looks awesome you also have some lieber you have old orange joskin yellow old red and then a gunmetal plus you got all of your base game colors as well it's a really really cool thing right here again use it with cranes or anything that will hit hitch up things like that you can hook up to the top and you're good to go next up we have hall with gay this is the hall from the precision farming dlc they have removed the rtk antenna so that the hall can be used without precision farming as a lot of you guys wanted to use this they've also added interior lights changed the color and sounds of the gate and added a snow roof for seasons the gate supports them on animated objects extender for automatic opening which is insane the floor has been painted yourself train is being leveled so there you go price is gonna be thirty-seven thousand. you got choice between two of these daily upkeep 20 bucks per day seasons ready and say that on consoles is going to take up six slots it's your last new mod for all platforms today is the legrand agriculture awning this is 680 meters squared uh, which allows you to soar straw sheltered from bad weather construction price fifteen thousand six hundred fifty bucks daily maintenance of twelve dollars and is compatible with the seasons mod this is very very cool making our way into mod updates for all platforms today let's start with the lizard tassie 22t from inside design and farm central so this is going to be version 1.1 added additional fill type so this will also now do some root crops as well as manure and sugar cane, which I think it did beforehand. It's a very cool trailer. I highly recommend that you guys check this out. Next new mod is something that we talked about in Farm Sim News over the weekend, saying that we didn't know what this changeup was going to be. Well, we do now. Fiat Agri 180 90 version 1.1 fixed the refueling problem, fixed the front hitch problem. Also added XL wheel configurations. We'll take a look at those. Added flashing lights configurations and added muffler configurations. So let's take a look in here. Let's see not there design hydraulic pistons oh that looks good let's go with that beacon lights of course we got all those all around uh we'll set up variable rear track which is nice we also have variable total variable wides where's the big xls there we go chonky boys yeah and of course we have the exhaust right there and an update to the hw 60.11 trailer change log 1.0.1 tire <laughs> what <laughs> we got a couple extra tire now <laughs> Next update for all platforms is the Seppi Multipla S9. This is actually a new brand on consoles today, but this is going to be a changelog of 1.0.1. Official brand on console added second version of both implements, which does no swath. They've also got no grass, so for more realism, you could just add this bloop and add this bloop, and then boom, no grass appears. Though I still like this one. This is my favorite. I love this mod. And we've got an update to Clutch Simulation's favorite mod. This is going to be the Star Absolute 44 Row version 1.1. Optional fertilizer has been added, so you can do seed only or with fertilizer, which is great. Um, that's 3,800 liters of seed, and then it adds another 1,200 liters, 1,200, 1,800 liters, sorry, of fertilizer with that. They've also adjusted the driving particles, so those are good. Those lift up whenever you go over bumps, things like that, and adjusted the power requirement to 330 horsepower and an update to the euro span pack this is going to be version 1.2.0.1 fix the wrong working area on the cedar version so this is good and bad so we've now got a normal 36 meter fertilizer slash cedar if you don't know this will actually seed your crops as long as you've got um fertilizer not fertilizer as long as you've got something for say uh, plowing or cultivating down well you can see it on top of that you probably saw mr silly P's videos but the unfortunate part is you can't do 36 meters one way and 36 meters the other way now it's just 36 meters all together and we have an update to the stroutman hydrofox silo block cutter this is going to be version 1.001 the angle of inclination has been increased. Otherwise, it could not be unloaded. Um, heads up, I don't know what this would be for or how to use it. I wish I could tell you. 
I have no clue. We also have an update to the New Holland CR1090 US series from Whiskey Sierra Modding, Ada Modding, the AVP team, and Sid Modding. This is going to be version 1.001, corrected the interior button colors, and fixed a braking issue. How about an update to the Lizard 200 sprayer? This is going to be version 1.2. Added color configuration so you can choose whatever color you would like through here. You've also gotten redone spec maps for the sprayer, increased speed, as well as new store images. Your next to last mod update for all platforms today is Bigfield's Farm by Ninja Kart. This is going to be version 1.0.11. No new game save is needed. They do have a new railroad, new roads and traffic splines using old game save. Well, some grass is missing around the intersections. However, you can paint grass in landscape mode. And lastly, an update to the mod test map from Ninja Kart as well, version 1.0.11. This is going to be, again, no new game save is needed. However, they have added roads and road signs and they say if you're using an old game save some grass around intersections may be missing or growing in the road this can be fixed in the landscape mode this one's interesting i'm not really sure i understand this completely this is the bonnie rob new mods for pc and mac players today an autonomous field robot device carrier with solar module uh, this is available in fertilizer weed removal or soil samples we've got the weeder in front of you right now we also have default which i have no idea what default does we also have sprayer module so it'll spray i reckon uh, and we'll also do soil samples you've got that if you wish as well working with of 0.5 meters to one meter solar module supplies vehicle with energy as long as the sun is up if it is cloudy or dark the system automatically switches to battery mode and when the battery is empty the vehicle switches off and has to be recharged so if we bring this in and we turn on all of our windows we start it up first field batteries at a hundred percent so we've got was that 50 150 thousand minutes goodness gracious track gauge one meter okay i got a fun little spinaroo here going on that's neat i'll uh, see we do have the sprayer module turned on which is good uh we can change the wheel setup this is neat let's see turn on the body rob okay um can't really turn it on can we let's see let's go in here and let's add fill uh, liquid fertilizer sure and let's see exactly how this works oh okay so looks like i i think it's just a automated fertilizer spreader i think at the end of the day let's let's go in here let's change this up to yep that'll work perfect set this right here maybe set it on a worker our worker okay so it's fertilizing small amount here and there not awful i like the uh the attention to detail as far as the animation goes it's not really hitting the whole thing maybe that's not the point uh 500 liter let's see let's take this let's turn off <laughs> hey this thing is flying boys this thing is flying it's barely using anything so this might be neat if you want to not buy a tractor or something like that uh it <laughs> i think i'm having a hard time figuring it out because i just don't get it but it's neat doesn't appear to be using any fertilizer either it, you would think that would be going down but it's not just, i don't know it's just neat <laughs> let's go next up we have the rbm6 this is going to be found in beat technology and is a hollum topper uh, this will cut the tops off of the beats to be ready for harvested 75 horsepower is required 2.7 meter working with at six miles per hour main color well you got a couple different blues there and then design color uh, you got some reds? I don't know what that's changing up. Ah, oh, it's changing up the uh, the PTO connections. Very cool. And your last new mod for PC and Mac players today is going to be the Lizard AT-01. This is going to be a new trailer. It's got all kinds of stuff. So this is a small auto load trailer you can use to load things that you would use in uh, real or use in real life with your hands. So like egg boxes, things like that, small things. Um, capacity, we have 4,000 liter as a bulk. We have bell loading wagon and back and forth between those. Wheel brands, we have trailer Borg, Lizard. Back and forth between those, Lizard. We have spec one, spec two, rib colors. Well, you can choose whatever you'd like through here since today is a cloth day. Let's go with some cloth colors. How about that? And then design, we'll change this up to that. Perfect. Now you can pull it around with your, uh, uh, with your cloth tractors. Boom. This will also 
load up your baby bales, which is great. Um, from the ARM team, the Lely AP730. And lastly today, we have an update to bulk buy, which allows you to buy multiple different things. You see the bottom left there, mount one through 10. This is gonna be version 1.0.2. Added the IBC pallets for compatibility with Tidy Shop Mod. Well guys, that is gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.